Hey everybody, welcome back to Red Level 3 Studios. I'm James Michael, and uh, we're doing a fly on the wall series here where I'm bringing you inside the production of 6AM's records. Uh, first off, I wanna thank all of you for the great comments and questions you've been posting uh, on my YouTube channel. I really appreciate it. I love talking about this stuff, you can probably tell, and apparently so do you guys. So um, I'm gonna keep on doing these, and uh, I've tried to answer a lot of your questions in the post section of YouTube, but I also will be um, making videos in response to your questions. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. Today is gonna be uh, dealing with a topic that I got a lot of questions about, um, and it's also one of my favorite parts of making music. It's the mixing process. Um, a lot of you, uh, once you started seeing how how I was layering things in the studio, there uh, a lot of questions started coming up about um, how they're all mixed together. So that's exactly what we're going to talk about today. We're going to dissect the chorus of the song Rise, which uh, hopefully most of you know by now. Um, and uh, I think it's going to be really fascinating. You're going to be amazed at how much stuff is actually going on in this chorus um, and then how they're all blended together. Now, the idea of mixing is, uh, is something that we've been doing in the recording business since it started. Um, but I know that a lot of you probably don't know what that means. I think... Uh, there's probably a good handful of you that think that when when we talk about mixing you're thinking of a dj with two turntables and he's taking two different records and kind of blending them together well that's not exactly what we're doing here uh mixing uh as far as mixing records goes is about balancing sounds um as you've seen in some of my previous videos, uh, there is a, a lot of different elements to a recording. You have a lot of drums, you've got uh, several different guitar parts, you've got a lot of different vocal parts, uh, you've got keyboard parts, you've got bass, and uh, the, the idea of mixing is, is taking all of those different elements and figuring out what volumes they need to be at, um, and, and how each of the sounds needs to be shaped in order to work well with all of the other sounds. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start off by playing the beginning of the chorus of Rise, and I'm going to start off just playing the drums a second. So if I were to just solo out the drums, here is the chorus of Rise. So that's the, the first few measures of the chorus of Rise. Um, and uh, then what we'll do is we will add Nikki's bass to that. And here's what it'll sound like with the drums and the bass together. Pretty cool, starting to rock a little bit. Now I'm gonna add the uh, just the basic rhythm guitars. And that's gonna sound like this. Now you're listening to drums, bass, and rhythm guitars. At that point, it starts sounding like a band. Um, but there's a lot more in this chorus. Uh, I'll play uh, the vocals a second. I'm gonna add some vocals to it. And uh, those will sound like this. Here, we'll just add the lead vocal a second. So now we've got drums, bass, rhythm guitars, and lead vocals. So at this point, you can see how uh, the different elements are starting to work together. Now, when it comes to mixing, uh, let's just take those four elements there. Uh, I'm going to show you how dramatically different it would sound if the volume of the drums drops down and the volume of the guitars comes up. So we'll pull the uh, drums back and I'm going to put the guitars up. Now listen how dramatically that changes just those four elements. <laughs> Obviously, there's a problem there. Uh, the drums are no longer driving the song. Um, it's starting to get very messy sounding. The guitars are really uh, 
there's great sounding guitars, but it's starting to kind of step on the vocal and, and just the overall message of the song is starting to get lost. So what you do is you go in and you start balancing this. So let's pull those guitars way down a second and let's put the drums back to where they were and see what it would sound like with the guitars way down. Now it's going to be primarily drums, bass, vocals with the guitars too soft. This is, sounds like this. So you can see, you can hear uh, the song, you hear the lyrics, but you're not getting the drive of the guitar. So let's bring those back in. Okay, so that sounds pretty cool. It sounds pretty live. We're not even close to being done with what's going on in the chorus here. So let's pull up some other elements to this chorus. One of the things that when you're hearing it on the radio, I'll bet you don't hear, but if I were to mute it, you would miss it even listening on the radio, is the background vocals. So we have these vocals doing this right here. So I'm gonna mute the guitars a second so you can hear what I'm talking about. I'm also gonna mute the lead vocal. So we're gonna be listening to drums, bass, and just some background vocals. I'm going to mute the bass a second just so you can hear a little bit clearer what those vocals are doing. So those are some harmonies. Now I'm going to add some other uh, layers to the background vocals. Uh, still, just drums and vocals. Bring in some more vocals here. Um, So now I'm gonna, you can hear when I added Melissa's vocals there, I'm gonna just solo those out along with drums so you can hear what they're doing. Sounds kind of strange by itself. It's cool, but obviously it doesn't, uh, it doesn't show the whole picture. Now let me start bringing in those other elements. I'll bring the bass back in, I'll bring the guitars in. I'll bring the lead vocal in. Bring some more guitars in. There's a lot of stuff going on in here that you just you probably don't hear when you're just listening to it as a whole. And here's the point. You're not supposed to hear all of those things separated out. They're, they're all part of a bigger picture. Um, it's kind of like if you were watching a scene in a movie and you've got you know very specific lighting on certain elements in the background. Your eyes aren't supposed to go to that element in the background, but they're supposed to be aware that they're there. And it's the same thing with music. So um, the idea of mixing, it's, it's a real fine art of balancing all of these things. There's a, there's a big difference between the drums being at this level or at that level, because as soon as you pull the drums back, all of a sudden something else starts taking up that space in the mix, and it throws the entire balance off. So um, I, I hope that this gives you an idea of all of the elements and how we start balancing all of them. Um, it's, a, it's quite a fun part of the project, and, and a mix can dramatically change how the song is heard, how the song is received, and, and how the message is received. So we spend a lot of time making sure that these balances are right, but I wanted you to be able to hear just how much stuff is actually going on in these choruses so that you understand that as, uh, as I sit down and start mixing these, these records and preparing them 
to be uh, to be sold or to be played on the radio, um, there are a lot. There's a a lot of thought that goes into how it's presented and how all of these elements work together and what the end result is supposed to be. So I hope that you enjoyed that. Thanks again for tuning in and thanks again for all of your questions. Keep asking them in the comments below and I'll try to get to all of them. Uh, I'm having a lot of fun making the video videos and I hope that you are enjoying them as well.